the roof of the church. Gracias. We began our day on this beautiful Plaza 25 de Mayo where everybody comes to have a good time, relax next to those huge trees and statues with ice cream in their hand. It's completely surrounded by colonial buildings that make you feel that it isn't Bolivia. We are now standing in front of one of the most important buildings in Sucre, even Bolivia, the Casa de la Libertad, literally House of Liberty. It was here where they signed the Declaration of Independence in 1825. What I love the most is to be able to buy really fresh shoes for not a lot of money. Grande or small? Uh, Los pequeños grande. Grande. <laughs> Gracias. Yes. Gracias. No sugar added, no water added, pure orange juice. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, now the next stop is going to be the church San Felipe de Neri. Yes, Roma. Good job. Perfect. Because we don't show you, but I just missed the pronunciation just before. <laughs> Three times. <laughs> and apparently it's uh, one of the main uh, church to visit in Sucre, which is apparently really beautiful. And we didn't see any picture or anything. We know about one thing you can do there. It's very exciting and you will find out very soon. Hola. Gracias. I don't know what you're saying. But... Okay, so we are inside of the church. It's really, really beautiful. We paid 30 bolivianos which is pretty cheap and what Christina wanted to tell you before is that on this church we can go apparently on the roof of it it's what makes her a bit special how many times in your life you have a chance to go on the top of a church and have this amazing view of the city we are pretty lucky to be here but now we're gonna go even higher maybe there's a better view it's so weird to just walk on the roof of a church. Like, it's insane. <laughs> Look at this view. It's like, we're not that high, but the buildings in Sucre are so low that you have an amazing view on the city. Like 360 degrees view. And I think the rain is coming. Looks like. <laughs> Honestly, we could have spent so much more time here because there is not that much of people, because there is an amazing view on the city and because the architecture is like just mind-blowing. But we have to continue. The clouds are pretty grey and we are scared to be annoyed by the rain. We are now walking out of the main plaza and we are going to visit something very special. It's not something you do normally. We are visiting the General Cemetery of Sucre. It's kind of special one because they look so much different than the one in Europe, in America. Apparently it's worst a look. We just made it uh, into the cemetery, which is uh, really impressive. We are surrounded by all those huge trees and it's giving a, a really special atmosphere to this place. I don't think there is that much of cemetery that you go there just to have a look. I mean, it's kind of private, you don't want to annoy anybody else. But sometimes they are just like so beautiful. You have to go visit them, like Le Père Lachaise that we have in Paris. And all those little niches are for the poor people. Because of course it's way cheaper to have this kind of grave than a huge little house like this one. It's actually like that. In my country, I guess in yours too, the people who get marble and stuff, they are always 
like Richard and the little guy who is having just a hole. That's pretty sad, but look at the size of this one. It's like it's a building. There is hundreds of little graves right there, and they are building another part just behind, and another one getting ready there. We agreed to say that the cemetery was pretty uh, worth the tour. And now we are going to visit the Bolivar Park, which is not far from where we are, but we still have to walk a bit. It's apparently a place where uh, Bolivian people love to go there to relax and just chill. So we just arrived and we have a little art and all uh, market, which is going to be pretty cool, I think. Actually, this market is a Christmas market. That's super cool. This park is pretty clean, pretty nice. And like I said before, it's true that people come here to read a book, to just chill on a bench. I like that. It looks like it's one of the biggest park in uh, Sucre. And it's actually pretty good for us to be here and seeing all of the Christmas lights, the Christmas market in the middle of summer. When it's like 25 <laughs> degrees. Actually, it's our second hot Christmas, if I can call it like that. Last year it was in Cambodia and this year it Bolivia. But it looks like in South America they celebrate Christmas way more than in Asia. We just left the Park Bolivar and we are heading to the Central Mercado, one of the most exciting things to do in Sucre because we love local markets and we are also hungry. So we're going to look for some food. Central Market is always where you will have the most authentic uh, taste of the city you have visited. Look how colorful is this market, full of fresh fruit and vegetables. Okay, we are in the food court inside of the market and we're gonna find to try something really authentic to eat of course. I think this is the spot to have a lunch on this market because it's very very crowded, very noisy and everybody's eating their plate. It looks amazing. I'm very excited, I'm super hungry. We took Mondongo, I have not ever used it, and Rama took a picante de polo. Which means chicken. Ah yes true. Spicy chicken, but for my hand it's an idea. Gracias. Mondongo. Gracias, señora. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is the, the corn they eat here. It's pretty delicious. I, it looks like they smash the corn and then also potatoes. It's not spicy. <laughs> so it's okay. Mm. It's I'm a super tender beef. Yes. It's so good. So 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 good. Mm. So I get like my spicy chicken, pollo, also some potatoes like Christina, and a basic rice. And actually that I have no idea what is it. It looks like mushroom, but it's not mushroom. It's pretty funny because in the market there is like I will say 30 different corners and they are all doing exactly the same food. It's pretty weird, they could change, but no, they are all doing the same thing. And each corner is named by the name of the owner, like Donna Simona, uh, Johnny, Donna Marina. It's pretty fun. I think only here in South America you can find a one liter of Coca-Cola in a glass. It's crazy, I never saw it in my life. The best one. Also Fanta, everything. I think we're gonna end this video here in the Mercado Center with this super fresh juice Orange and mango and we'll see you guys in La Paz Gracias One hamburger at 4 in the afternoon that was the real end of this video. See you on the next one. If you make it till the end, we wanted to thank you for watching. And if you want to support us, don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. 
Stay tuned for our upcoming adventures and check out our previous videos.